goes from here to here. I want to try to lay it all over there. Um, move some of this up. Try to read directions. Safety first, throw on these awesome gloves they gave me. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. So, it's a double it. So it would be 24 tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Alright, so I should double the amount. Please remember, I have never done this before, so before you start commenting and tell me how much I suck, give me a uh, break. So, let's uh, start laying this down. Like to let you guys know, I love anybody who uh, says anything positive because I know I'm probably gonna get hate on this just because I'm doing something wrong. But like I said, I've literally never done anything like this before. Just trying to learn, see how easy it is. Maybe encourage some other people to pick up some projects like this and not get scared of it. But figure I can waste my money first before you guys waste yours. Okay, I'm just supposed to dab it in there. Dab, dab, dab. Actually, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's starting to actually sink into the hole as I'm doing it. Suggest starting from the top and working your way down if you're on a slope just because this is running. I have no idea how many layers to put down, so I'm just going to keep going until it's like flat. From what I've seen in some other videos, you just keep tapping it down. This supposedly cures in two hours, and then I can sand it. See if I did it right, it's actually going to happen. This is so easy. Uh, yeah, I think people pay people to do this. I mean, I guess we'll see. But it seems relatively easy. Someone told me fiberglassing is easy. Making it look good is hard. We'll see how true that is.
<laughs> Actually, they're probably right. This is going to look like shit. Um, going to have a lot of sanding to do. I wish I could tell you what the uh, weight of this is, but to be honest, you have no idea. I just went on eBay or Amazon and bought it. So, figured I'd just start by doing one crack, or maybe two, seeing how it goes. Um, then if it's not that good, I would just take it to a buddy of mine who actually does this for a living and have them do it. But if I can do it, I figure anyone can do it. I got my PhD in fiberglassing from YouTube, so maybe you guys will too. Probably should have collaborated with somebody who's got a fire glass channel. <laughs> Gotta say, I do love my fans though. Well, I don't want to say fans, people who watch my channel, because you guys are all pretty interactive with uh, me asking questions and wanting to get involved and helping me out, getting hookups from different things. Uh, like I said, I'm not sponsored at all. So, I've had some good luck with people uh, being able to tell me where to get some stuff, give me some advice on stuff. Um, just some amateurs like myself that are really helping me out. Um, if doing this has done anything for me, it's just really helped me meet a lot of great people who are really open and just helping out and not looking anything, looking for anything. Uh, just really genuinely nice people. Just really have hooked me up, giving me some good guidance. Um, they should probably have a channel doing this stuff themselves way better than I am and have way more knowledge than I do so so you guys know I appreciate you I hope you guys enjoy uh, some of the stuff that I do I know my video skills aren't the best and my editing I've gotten some heat on but uh, I'm trying and I do appreciate the negative and positive feedback because it just helps me get better. Sorry about the last video that cut out halfway through. Uh, YouTube doesn't let you re-upload. Oh my god, my knees. Getting old.